and welcome to my kitchen. It's currently midnight. What am I doing in my kitchen at midnight, may you ask? I'm making banana bread. Why might you ask am I making banana bread? Because look at these bananas. They need some tender love and care and the only way they're gonna get that is if they're baked into banana bread. We're making banana bread. I'm also bored and I can't sleep and I love making banana bread. How many times can I say the word banana bread before you click off the video? I don't know. So here's the thing. A friend gave me this recipe and it is so good. I love it so much, but it's... It's bad, you know what I mean? It's bad, it's, I can eat a whole loaf in a sitting. So it's not good on that sense, but it is good on the taste sense. So that's what we're dealing with. And I thought, hey, what better way to use my time not sleeping than making something and doing something I enjoy, which is banana bread. These bananas are literally gonna fall apart any second now. If you're new here and you've never seen my face before, what's up, welcome um, to my channel. My name is Olivia, you can subscribe if you want, only if you want though. Uh, um, and if you don't, that's cool. I kind of get it. Don't worry about it, all right? But if you do, that'd be cool. Okay, now let's get all the ingredients we need for banana bread. Is this a good idea? I might fall asleep while it's cooking. Okay, whatever. Banana bread ingredients, here we go. Sugar that I borrowed from Amanda and probably am not gonna return. Kosher salt, all-purpose flour, baking soda. This is my own little twist on the recipe. A little bit of coffee grounds if you want a little bit more taste to bring out the chocolate. I forgot to mention it's chocolate chip banana bread. So, chocolate chips, preferably the chocolate chunks from Trader Joe's because they're so fuego. Vanilla, two brown bananas. We have a plethora to choose from. Eggs, butter, sour cream, which sounds weird, I know. And I think that's it. So, let's get cooking, good looking. I forgot the recipe already. Banana bread. So we've been doing this weird exercise in my acting class, not weird, but like an exercise in my acting class where we use the word banana to basically say everything, the like Meisner repetition exercise, and you basically like repeat something to each other, but you put like words and feeling or like feelings and emotions under it. And the word we've been using is banana. So every time I hear the word banana now, I literally want to die. So I don't know why I'm making banana bread. Bowls, a pan to cook it in, that's necessary. Measuring cup for the butter to melt it in. We're smart here. Measuring cups, tablespoons. All right, did you get all your ingredients? If so, you're ready to make banana bread with me. One stick of butter. This is like a different sized butter than normal. One stick, how much? Is this one stick? Cause usually sticks are bigger, but maybe this is fatter. Eight tablespoons of butter. Is that how much is in a normal stick of butter? You know what, screw it, I think that's right. This is butter I haven't used before. We're gonna try it anyways. I don't have the patience to let it sit to room temperature. So we're just gonna go ahead and stick it in the microwave for 10 seconds, cause that's basically the same thing. Our butter has been appropriately melted. So I was really tempted to lick that, but I'm not gonna. Two eggs. Why is this so hard to break open? Nice. I wanna see if I can do the next one one-handed. I used to cook a lot as a kid and I was able to do, Okay, I did it, but the shell cracked a lot. You may call me Remy. <clears throat> One cup of sugar. One teaspoon of vanilla. Oh my God, I'm gonna make a mess. Okay, that smells so good. So if you've made it to this step, this is what your, shit, that was almost gonna fall. This is what your mixture should look like. A really big pile of pretty much nothing. All right, let's stir this up. I need to get, um, my mixing mechanics, a blender thing, a mixer. But for some reason I can't find the attachments. The only attachments I have are these. I don't even know what these do. Look at that, what does that do? I don't wanna mix this by hand. Where did I put my mixers? This is very upsetting. Now, thank God. I'm really excited. I didn't want to do that by hand. I literally have never put anything on that top shelf. So it's mixing time, ladies and gents. That was so easy. If I had to do that by hand, it would have taken literally like 15 minutes. I know you're not supposed to try it already, but I'm going to. That's literally butter and sugar and vanilla. That's what it looks like now. I think we put all the dry ingredients in a bowl. I learned a trick when I was younger that when you're spooning out flour to use in a recipe, you're supposed to... 
it dropped in the batter so oh my god it's getting all over the mixer now we're gonna pretend that didn't happen what i learned as i was saying learned when i was younger that you're actually supposed to spoon the flour into the thing and like shake it because apparently that's how you get the most accurate amount of flour now i don't do this every time i probably actually haven't done this in years but Today we're pulling out all the stops to make this good. And then you like press it in. I can't even remember if I'm doing this right. This is gonna take way too long. You know what? I think I'm abandoning this protocol. That's half a cup of flour. We are now abandoning that and we're literally just taking the thing straight into it. There we go. Another half cup of flour, maybe a little more. Oh, I forgot to preheat the oven. Okay, a teaspoon of baking powder, baking soda. I'm literally not, this may be gross, but I'm not washing it after I put it in the vanilla. I'm too lazy for that. A teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of kosher salt. This could go so wrong so fast. Now, I wanna be fancy, so we're gonna whisk the dry ingredients together for no reason at all. Now, we're gonna do a little bit of this at a time in the mixing bowl, where we already have our beaten butter and sugar and eggs. You don't wanna do it all at once, cause then it'll just not be good. I don't think I've ever tried actually doing it all at once, but I don't think it's good. And then in between everyone, I'm gonna take a little spatula and scoop down the sides. We vary between lazy girl cooking and not lazy because I do want this to turn out fire. Who believes in salmonella? Like, <laughs> not believes in it, but who here eats raw cookie dough and cake dough? Because I've done that since I've been a kid. Like I will lick the whole bowl clean. I'll even eat the batter raw if you give me the option. I've never gotten sick from it, so. You know, okay, we're pouring in the rest. This is gonna get really tough, I think. That's what it looks like. Oh, it's not liking this. I think I put too much. It's like really clumping, so. It's like one giant ball. My machine here is not having a good time with that. That, my dear, is thick. Like, that's like icing. Ooh, I wonder if anybody's ever used batter as an icing. It would be low-key so good. Then we add the banana and sour cream. Now it's time to pick our two bananas to put in here. I think we're gonna use the darkest ones just because they are going to have the most flavor, I think. Is that how that works? All of my bananas just went in. Let's mix that together, shall we, ladies? Huh? Oh my God, it's on my sweater. Let's add in a fourth a cup of sour cream. Ugh, I hate sour cream. I don't even like it on tacos, but it's good in banana bread. Does anyone else ever just get the, does, do people get the verge to cook? Cause I get it a lot, but I don't have the patience for it. Unless for some reason that day I'm feeling patient. I literally need to go to bed. Okay, it's not coming out. There's still some left over, what the heck? For some reason I feel like I messed the recipe up. One thing I do know is, not for sure though, but coffee brings out the flavor of chocolate. We're gonna throw in a little bit of this ground beans that I used to make my espresso, just so that the chocolate flavor comes out. Now, for the best part, the chocolate chips. I'm gonna take these suckers out. We're gonna stir the rest by hand. I'm gonna throw in half a bag, probably gonna put this whole bag in because I like my banana bread very chocolatey. I feel like that's a fair amount. Now to stir the final product. Look at it. This does not seem like enough chocolate chips we're adding in the rest. Was that a mistake? Maybe. Are we gonna find out? Yes. Hey, okay, my mom's coming in town tomorrow, so at least my house will smell like banana bread and there will be banana bread, so she'll think I have my life put together. So, cause I think you have to have like, your life together to cook. Sometimes, not really. Look how beautiful she is. She's beautiful. We love her. I'm gonna take a Pyrex. I don't know how big this is. I just feel like this is normal like bread size. I think I put too much butter. That looks like an adequate amount of butter. Here we go. Here's what she looks like before going in. Very pale, very like sloshy. Now she's going into the oven. So we'll see how she does. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna burn myself. Okay. <laughs> okay. There we go. It's in the oven. It never cooks fully with the time suggested. So Alexa, set a timer for 55 minutes. I'm gonna go watch TikToks for 55 minutes until this is done and I'll clean up maybe. And then I'll see you when the banana bread is ready. It's gonna be like an hour for me. For you guys, it's instant. 
Alexa, how much time is left on the timer? There's 21 more minutes. Ooh, you can't even see it. I don't want to open it because I don't want it to fall. But my whole house smells like banana bread. We're gonna have to wait for this to cool. We have to wait 20 more minutes. Then I have to wait like 15 minutes for it to cool. And then I can eat it. So I'm not gonna go to bed till like 2.30. Making banana bread at 2 a.m. It's fun at first and it'll probably be fun at the end, but it's not fun in the middle. That right there is a whole on beauty. Eight more minutes have passed. I'm eight minutes more tired. I don't care about the bread falling in now. I'm getting a knife and we're testing it. Oh my God, I'm gonna burn it. My throat's Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I think it's done. Oh, she's done. It's gonna drop, it's gonna drop, it's gonna drop, it's gonna drop. Cooling rack. Gonna loosen up the sides here. Oh, that looks so ready. If the middle falls, I will cry. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Oh no, now what do I do? Oh, I did it. I've never been able to do that before. It didn't even sink. I have banana bread and it didn't mess up. She looks kind of messed up, not gonna lie. Like it's kind of like, it looks kind of janky, but now we have to wait for this to cool because it is very hot to the touch. So don't touch your banana bread when it comes right out the oven. I'm gonna be that person and cut from the middle. This is leaving so many crumbs on my counter. I didn't think of this. <gasps> okay, are you ready for this? Watch this, watch this. There's steam coming off of it. Look at that. Okay, let's try it. Oh my god, this was the best idea I ever had. That's fuego. And with that concludes my video. I hope you enjoyed making banana bread with me at midnight to 2 a.m. Am I gonna title this video saying I made it at 2 a.m.? Yes, because I'm still up, so. I'm gonna eat the rest of this piece of banana bread and I'm going to bed because I'm freaking tired. You make it, you tell me if it's good. If it's not, maybe I have bad taste buds, but this is freaking delicious and anybody I've made try it thinks it's also good when I've made it in the past. So I hope you like this video and I hope you like this banana bread. I'm going to bed now, so. Good night. Peace. Banana bread out.